Here we have a stunning 2019 on a 69 registration BMW M4 competition convertible. Um, it's finished in this beautiful San Marino blue metallic with the Silverstone Marino leather interior. So in our opinion, one of the best BMW M color combinations. And it's got a host of lovely options, which we'll talk about as we go around the car. It's two owners from new and it's just over 17,000 miles from new. So very low mileage and a full BMW main dealer service history. So in terms of history and provenance, the car is everything you would expect of a 69 plate BMW M4. Um, but starting at the front here, you'll probably see under the lights just how metallic this blue color is. It's a stunning color. One of our favourites on the M cars, and it goes really nicely with the black um, kidney grills. And on the M cars, you obviously get the double uh, kidney bit, so a nice contrast there. And then at the front, obviously LED headlights with the s s signature Angel Eye daytime running lights there as well. So lovely looking front end, as with all M cars, to be perfectly honest. And then you've got these 20 inch shadow line uh, dual tone so they're the darker diamond cut on the front with the gloss black inserts and it's just really nice on that darker finish it goes in with all the black bits like the side grille here um, and then obviously the blue m caliper to complement the wheels there and you also get the m badges in this and the center caps as well um, this is the standard competition wheel but a very good looking wheel in our opinion and just goes with the car very nicely coming around the sides again obviously that, as I mentioned, that vent on the, on the uh, front arch there and the line carries all the way down to the back of the car. Um, so very nice design cues there. If I open the door, obviously all the gloss black thing continues on the window edges and around the uh, windscreen there as well. And if you have a look inside there, you'll see that beautiful Silverstone Merino leather interior and all of the carbon fiber accent trims on the interior as well. And the car's got some lovely options, but we'll talk about more of those as we get in there. But the one that you will see from this side, because it's hard to see from the driver's side, is on the steering column, there is a heated steering wheel. Um, so again, a lovely option being a convertible, but it's hidden right under this side of the steering column. So probably easier to show you whilst we're here. And then obviously the front seats will fold back. And I've sat in the back with the seat in that position and, and I was absolutely fine. And then one more thing I would like to show you behind here. Being a convertible, this car has got the wind deflector with it as well. So you can take this out and it mounts in the two holes that you can probably just see on either side of the um, rear, rear quarters here. And it will bring up a wind deflector just to stop a bit less, a bit more wind noise um, if you've got no passengers in the back of the car. And then that just hides very neatly behind the rear seats there as well. And I'll just pull this seat back here. And we'll go around the back of the vehicle and I'll show you some more at the back. So again, being a competition variant of the M4, I actually think it's a really good looking car as a convertible, but being the competition variant with the M4, obviously quad pipes are standard, but they're in a gloss black finish on the competition models uh, rather than a standard M4, which would have silver around there. And then obviously San Marino blue continues on the diffuser and obviously the rear bumper, rear parking sensors and a reversing camera on the boot there as well. And then I'll just show you inside the boot. So if I lift the boot up, obviously the roof is down at the moment and you'd think that there's not much room to put stuff in there. But if I hold this button here, it's very clever what this car does. It will move the whole of the back shelf and the glass out of the way of the boot. And then you can remove the uh, boot separator back and it gives you full access into that boot, which goes a long way back all the way to the rear seats um, back there as well. And it's very clever. It's a lot of sort of technology to make that happen it's a heavy glass roof and it's lifted the whole thing out of the way to allow you to have that access and then to put it back down you've just got to make sure that boot separator is clipped in place hold the down button and it'll fold back very nicely and then because of the weight of all of that the the m4 convertibles have a nice feature which is a soft closed boot so if you just pop it down the car will pull the boot locked shut in place uh, very neatly for you and then coming around the driver's side, I'll jump in the car and we'll go through some of the options inside this vehicle. So coming in the car now, starting with the door card, you've got the beautiful two-tone black and white Silverstone Merino leather with the contrast white stitching on the black bits, including the door handle there, all electric windows, and then again, power folding door mirrors. And being a convertible, you have got the button for doing all of the windows at once at the bottom there. And then in the top of the door card here, you'll see the tweeter for the Harman Kardon stereo system. So again, a nice feature of the competitions. 
and then down here you'll see we've got memory settings for the driver's seat and all electric seat adjustment there as well passenger seat is electric as well as you would expect and if i turn the car on i'll just get the ignition on first and then foot on the brake push the start button again and you'll hear that lovely three litre six cylinder bmw turbocharged engine it's just a beautiful engine lots of power in these 440 horsepower from standard so it's fast enough for nearly everybody and the uk certainly on the steering wheel here we've got the m colored stitching which again is a lovely feature and then you've got the m buttons which are customizable driving modes there so you can quick access to full sport plus etc and we've got a heads-up display which if the cameraman can see through there it's just on the windscreen there and then if i push the m button to change the driver's modes it's not actually been set on this. You can just about see it's changed the heads up display to a almost race car like rev counter. So it's a, a lovely option there to have the heads up display. The rest of the features in here sort of as you would expect. So as I mentioned, the heated steering wheel, which is a cost option, but then all your automatic LED headlights, your heated seats, your dual zone climate control. If I pop the car into reverse, you'll see on the big screen, it's actually saying that the boot's still open, but there is a reversing camera as I showed you before. Um, and then there is navigation on there as well. So if I push the navigation button, you'll see a big wide navigation screen there as well. Obviously it's zoomed out for our photographing purposes. And then you've got all of the, down next to the gear stick here, being an M car, you've got the button which changes the speed of the shifts, which is obviously a feature of M cars from, from the mid 2000s. And then up here, you've got the buttons for changing your steering, suspension and engine settings there as well. And then another feature being a convertible on the roof button here, you've got these buttons which blow hot air out of the vents on the, um, on the seat. So you'll see these vents here. It'll blow hot air onto the back of your neck to keep you warm if it's a colder day and you've got the roof down. And the last feature inside the car is under the armrest here. You'll see there's a wireless phone charger in there as well. So you can pop a phone onto there and it will charge whilst you're driving along. And then I'll just close the roof so you can see what the car looks like with the roof um, closed. Actually, it won't allow me whilst the boot's still open. So if the there we go. So if I just push that now, you'll see the roof will come up. It is a hard top on these M4 convertibles as well, which a lot of people like because the new M4s have gone to the soft top. Um, but the hard top's just a nicer looking car, a much nicer looking thing. So it'll come over and clip into place. and the windows will go up as well as part of the roof process. So it'll fully close the car off. And then if I turn the car off and just jump outside now. So you'll see it's, a, it's still a fabulous looking car, even with the roof up, um, because as I say, being the hard top, it just, it almost makes it look like a coupe as, as the standard car would be. Um, but as I mentioned at the start of the video, just to quickly recap, two owners from new, a full BMW main dealer service history, including the important running in service done bang on time. Two, as I just said, two owners, sorry, and lovely color scheme of San Marino blue with the Silverstone leather interior, a host of lovely options. My name's Ben, I hope the video's helped and thank you very much for watching.